Hey yo, what is up everyone? PvP Gamer here, and I am back with another video. So, as I'm sure you guys saw the title, our field is ready to harvest. And, uh, there, there's one, one issue here. We don't have money for a harvester. As you can see up at the top. Now the silage is what we were planning on using to get a harvester. And obviously that's fermented now. But the problem is we need the front loader and the trailer, which is why I cut down trees in between episodes to be able to purchase them. The trailer is like 10,000 in a bit, the front loader is like cheap, and the bucket's pretty expensive actually. So we are going to get everything and go on a mass selling spree. Now, while we're driving, we can look here. That's on this last stage. I think. I'm like 9% sure. That's on this last stage. And... You know, when it's on this last stage, that means there's not a lot of time before it withers. And if it withers, we're, we're screwed, man. So, we need to make the money today. We need to harvest everything today. Once we do that, if we do that, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that today. So, this could get very interesting. And if we, if it withers, it withers. I mean... There's really not much I could say about that. Like, if it dies, it's just dead. But we're going to go in here. Let's get the trailer first. So the trailer I'm going for is this one. With the 12,000 liter capacity. Never mind, I'm going with this one with just the 10,000 liter capacity. I didn't take into consideration that, yes. Okay, 10,000 liters plus the front loader attachment for the farm wall, which is this one. Buy that. And the bucket, which is right here. And I'm just making sure we're getting the right one. Yes. This bucket holds 940 liters. Main color, we could do like a, a red, but we'll just keep it as black because we literally don't have the money. We have $86 left over, guys. That's how like close to the line we're cutting it. Because I don't have any more time to cut down trees. I would cut down a lot more trees and sell them if I had the time. Alright, alright, alright. There we go, there we go. Connect. Put the wires in. There we go. Now I had to take the front weight off to put this uh, front loader on. So if you guys see the front loader not on, that's why. Attach that, or not the front loader. If you guys see the front weight not on, that's why. We'll attach and attach. All right, 
let's get some fuel while we're here with the $86 that we have. I think this will take all of the money that we have. Alright, we're not full, but we have enough for a few rounds of back and forth action. So, um, in between episodes, I did also check with the uh, Ferguson, because I, I want the Ferguson to have the front loader. But it can have front loader. The only thing is that the bucket's only a 50, uh, 500 liter bucket. It's really small. No, I, don't, I think it was, it's either 500 or 50. I almost want to say it was 50, but it was small and we couldn't be moving 76 or 74,000 liters of silage, I think is the end number there in the pit. We can't be moving that with, you know, 50 liters per bucket load. So, we're using this tractor and this trailer. Now, this is a very nice trailer, don't get me wrong, but there were least expensive ones in the market. But, I mean, 10,000 liters for... 10,000 and a bit dollars, just like, what, a hundred dollars, like, what, a dollar per liter? That's, so, it makes sense, and this is a nice trailer, you can't really go wrong. So, we'll do the first load, not time lapse, so you can see how long one load takes. Then we'll throw her on the time lapse, get the, the buckets and the loads done, and yeah, we'll see how much money we end up with, or if we hit the 60,000 before we're done uh, bringing the silage there, which I hope we do, because if we don't, we might be in trouble. We go through all the silage, and there's still stuff there there's still not enough money then we'll have to empty the silos and if we still don't have enough money then we're doing wood I know you guys don't really want to see wood in cotton anymore but I gotta do what I gotta do man you guys understand that by now but this is fully fermented let's take off the top bam Look at that silage, guys. Look at that. Look at that silage. So, let's take the first little bit here. Ooh, yeah. Alrighty. So I need to part the trailer a bit farther out. That's what I'm learning here. Oh, I definitely need to part the trailer a bit farther out. But I honestly think that this trailer is the best one for the job there. Um, bouncing up on these tires. This tractor is actually pretty damn long. If you guys haven't noticed. 
I think for the front loader, I mean everything for this tractor is cheap, guys. The front loader attachment was only a hundred dollars, which I'm happy. I'm happy that they had this tractor, because literally if they didn't have this tractor, we wouldn't be here about to. We wouldn't be here trying to harvest. We would be screwed, actually. Because think about it, we would have had to. I mean, we could have been here. It would have just took a whole lot more trees being cut down. And for the money we would be making for those trees are, like, just not worth it. I don't know how a piece of some silage got out there. But we'll, uh, obviously you guys see how long this is going to take. We're going to put on time lapse. So, yeah. I will talk to you guys after this time lapse. Alright guys, I think we're going to uh, just jump cut it from here. Obviously you guys see how much uh, money I'll be making, so yeah. I'll see you guys once I'm back. Alright guys, I'm back. And um... Well, there's a few things. One... This wasn't worth it. In fact, um, literally a bell sell this silage pit just to make it semi worth it. Like, once we get to the shop, we're, we're selling that. Two, we got the rest of the silage in here. The, yeah. We're, we're literally going to pay off this trailer. That, that's about it. You can look at it as ether. Yay, we got a trailer for all this work. Or you can look at it as, well, we're not harvesting. This crop is not going to get harvested. I'm going to cut down as much trees and everything as I possibly can, but this crop's not going to be harvested, guys. And that really sucks, because that means we have to replow, replant, refertilize. And honestly, I just don't feel like doing that. 
but we're going to have to. Like, I mean, I would have had to replay out anyway, but like, I would have replay out once we had, you know, harvested. But we're not giving up right yet. We're going to sell all the grain that's in the silo. We're going to not jump cut all of that. We're going, uh, we're going to jump cut that probably. Don't worry. In between that, I'll show you guys that I have not cheated. I'll show you the finance page. I don't want to cheat. That defeats the purpose of doing a series like that. Like uh, this. If I wanted to cheat, I would just be like, haha, it's a role play. We're going to buy a new tractor every five seconds. That's why I changed this series from a uh, role play to just a. Uh, just uh, hardcore survival. Because it is a survival, technically. We don't make money, we're not going to be able to get the uh, crop up, and we're not going to be able to uh, get food, and we'll die. And the rest of the 10,000 liters. Guess it could be worse. I mean, we got almost 11,000 out of it. Oh, uh, yeah, let's uh, sell that. Sell that pit. Sell the pit. Making jack shit from it, but we sold the pit. Honestly, we can sell all of our buildings and not have any buildings, but that would be too easy. We have $14,000 right now, guys. So, yeah. We're, we're going to, this video is not going to end until we figure out if we're going to be able to harvest or if we're not going to be able to harvest. Because I think that every tree on the property is going to have to come down. And by the way, before we get to even planting, I want to ensure that we're going to have enough money to harvest. So if we're not going to have enough money to buy a harvester to harvest for this next year, we're not planting until we do. So, yeah, I mean, other good news is once we buy all these other partials, these trees should be growing, grown a bit more. We're going to plant some more trees too, so don't don't think that we're uh, going to just cut down all the trees and leave it like that. We are going to plant some more trees, we just need a stump grinder first. Because I would like to grind all the stumps down. Before we plant some more trees, because the stumps get a bit annoying. But we should, let's check, we'll check our uh, finances right now here. Well, all, all crops are actually doing a bit good on the prices. Like, um, yeah, finances. This is the first episode. I have did like two videos in this. So you can see I was setting everything up in here. This is where you take out and add money. That's where it goes. Zero, 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 zero. Wage payments. That's me accidentally hitting the button. Today, harvest income. $10,800. And obviously, wood from yesterday. That's where we started off the video. 10400 Yeah, wood is really... What see I thought we was going to make more money off of the um silage. We're not going to s 
The only thing we could sell that would make us money that we won't need because even this grass it's not going to sell for anything but it'll still sell for something you know like I'll still make a little bit of money off it so I want to keep everything and we'll have everything still so start filling I guess let's just start with wheat We also need to refuel us. That's the thing. We'll refuel after we're like done everything. Because we're going to use the Ferguson for the trees. The entire forest behind our, uh, our little shed there. That has a lot of big trees. I want to take down all the big trees first. Just so we actually see how much money we have. Once all the big trees are down, then we'll be able to see if we'll actually have enough with the estimate. Uh, we'll estimate how much the small trees will make us. But the last video is where we cut all the grass down and I don't regret doing that because it just cleaned up that area a bit you know it's just all cut down nice and nice and even it's not like all like all this stuff so I don't regret doing that I just regret how much time it took to compact all that silage Although, that's not going to be the last time we do silage in this series. We're going to probably buy a new pit, a larger pit, like later, later on in the series. Just so grass that we cut down can just be turned into silage. Also for animals, like uh, cows, which is something I want to do. If uh, this... If this uh, shop up here takes milk and wool, I want to do sheep too. So there's still a lot we could do, guys. It's just... It's a bummer. Right now. But we still have a long ass way to go. Move our camera so we can see how much we're making up there. All right, three thousand. See, it's not bad. So we're going to sell all this, all the crop that we have in the si or the silo. I'm hoping to have thirty thousand. That's a steep amount, but thirty thousand. That way, we will. I don't. I have to think about time lapse or jump cut. If we time lapse, I'm going to try to find new music. Actually, that'll depend. If I find new music, it might be a time lapse. If I don't, then it's going to be a jump cut. Either way, at the end, I'll show you how much money we actually made from the finance tab. Because it's, it's nice to see how much money we've made. We honestly could be doing worse though. We couldn't have, I mean we have a decent amount of equipment. The silage, I mean if it wasn't for the silage it would just be all trees and what's the fun in that? Even though it took me, I want to say an hour to get all the silage, put it in the trailer and sell it all. Um, I have been playing this entire episode in real time so if you guys just scroll through the footage the video you'll be able to see and calculate how much time it actually took but right now it's 820 
And I don't even know what time it was when we started. So, yeah. At least our numbers will look good for the, um, for what we're doing right now, for the harvest income. I'm really hoping that doesn't wither. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to wither by 12 o'clock today. Like, if we don't get this all picked up, it will be withered by 12 o'clock today. That's what I'm thinking. It's 820. So we have a few hours to get everything done. Even if we harvest like a little bit of it. Man, I, I just noticed on the side there, next time we come up, you'll you'll be able to see the difference that cutting the grass makes over just leaving it overgrown especially getting rid of all like the little bushes and weeds it really helps the look of the farm maybe even in the future just getting a mulcher to just mulch up everything might be a good idea I mean, we're, we're talking about mine that we don't have right now. I mean, it, it's going to be quite a few years before we actually get to making big progress. Like, once we get a harvester, I want to plant and plow up the field behind all the trees. I want to play all that up. I want to make that into like two fields, I want to say. Because once that's into the two fields, we can do like, you know, whatever it's money making. So like uh, soybeans, we could do canola, and we could do like barley or something. But, yeah. I was kind of bummed out, to be completely honest. When I saw, I mean, I was really hyping it up. I definitely did calculations a bit wrong, but I'm not good at math, so. I'm going to take this front loader off. Once we're at the farm. Actually, no, I'm not worried about it right now. I think wheat's better than barley? No, about the same. Makes sense, they're about the same crop, too. But, we're going to... I mean, it's really just back and forth. I think we're going to jump cut. So, I will see you guys after I sell all of this and we see how much money we have all right guys that was like a, a second for you and a few hours literally like almost two hours for me so we have sixty thousand dollars all from this good stuff on not corn, but all from green. God damn. If that green wasn't there, we weren't going to get this harvested. We also sold all the straw and grass bales that we had in the bale shed. So, yeah. Corn really is not selling for much today. 4,000 though, I think literally that's like the best we've got. 
Um, we're going to just leave this here. Maybe not. It's drifting. We'll leave it here. Alright. We're going to need that, because we need that trailer. But god damn it, let's get this harvester. You have no idea how good that feels to say, guys. This one. What's the difference? Oh, capacity. And horsepower. Wheel brand. We're going to go with the uh, not. And we're, we're keeping a lizard. Disarm one warning light. Two warning light. Three warning light. Keeping that one because we're broke. Attacher plus trailer hitch. We kind of need that. What? Wait. Screw it. You're not going to get it right now. Holy shit, guys. We bought it. We done got it. Kind union. 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 So we could get bigger ones, but we can't afford them. Alright, just screw it. Bam, bam, bam. Holy crap, guys. Here she is. The Dominator 204. Class Dominator 204. Ooh, she purrs, she purrs. Oh wow guys, this is actually pretty damn amazing. Lift that up, let's... Make sure everything's attached, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, dudes, we got it. Back to the farm. 15 miles per hour. Still better than that Ferguson. We didn't have, so we didn't have to cut down any trees. And we didn't cheat any money in. We'll look at our finances. Bam, $58,000 harvest income. Nothing else. And you guys literally don't know how good this feels. Unless you know, then you know. If any of you are doing this, then you know how good this feels. And it's amazing. I think this is like the longest recording session. Um, I don't know about, uh, is it? I want to say it's the longest recording session I've done where it's just recording for a video. It's not going to be the longest clip time because I stopped recording to jump cut. Because if I didn't, it would be like four hours of footage that I would have to scroll and cut through. So I didn't feel like doing that. But yeah, it's been like literally almost four hours. I think setup time has to go to my last roleplay video with the dealership. I still have that map somewhere saved. 
But, uh, that dealership took a while to set up in that video. But, we're here. And you can actually see that I didn't cheat in if you also thought I somehow cheated in somehow. By how many hours are on that tractor. I don't know how many are on it right now, but it's a lot. That's a weird camera angle. Let's unfold. Let's lower. Let's turn her on, baby. We're harvesting, which means time lapse. Hit this time lapse, guys. Alrighty guys, I'm back and I'm done harvesting. Now, I know what some of you might say, hey, you know, it wasn't worth it for the amount of grain that you got out of that field. And I would say, and I would, just, you know, the amount of grain that I got out of that field, yes, it wasn't worth all the money for just that amount of grain. But it was worth all that money to prove that we can make bigger fields. Which is what we're going to be doing in the next few episodes. The next episode we're going to plant that field again, probably with soybeans. Um, actually no, probably with like wheat or barley, something like that. Um, and then, well, we need to plow and plant it. 
But then the other uh, next video after that, we're going to be making two big fields. But I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. If you want to keep up to date, subscribe, hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys.